went running by. Oh, the snow's pure and white on the earth, rich and brown. Just another Sunday morning in my quiet mountain town. <coughs> the sun is shining and the grass is green. Under the three feet of snow, I mean. This is a day when it's hard to wear a frown. All the happy people stop to say hello. Get out of my way. Even though the temperature's low. It's a perfect Sunday morning in my quiet little mountain town. Well, good morning, Stan. Mom, can I have eight dollars to see a movie? A movie? Yeah, it's gonna be the best movie ever. It's a foreign film from Canada. All right, here you go. But be back for supper. Thanks, Mom. Oh, what a picture perfect child. Just like Jesus, he's tender and mild. He'd wear a smile while he wore a thorny crown. What an angel with a heart so sweet and sure. And a mind so open and pure. Thank God we live in this quiet redneck mountain town. Dude, dude, wake up. Kenny, come on. Woo! Kenny, the Terrence and Philip movie is out. You want to come? church. Well, fine. You go ahead and miss church, and then when you die and go to hell, you can answer to Satan. You can see your breath hanging in the air. You see homeless people, but you just don't care. It's a sea of smiles in which we'd be glad to drown. That's right. It's Sunday morning in our quiet little white bread redneck mountain town. Kick the baby. Kick the baby. <laughs> Ike, you broke another window. That's a bad baby. Bad baby. Kyle, we're going to the Terrence and Philip movie. Oh, my God, dude. Kyle, where are you going? Uh, we're going ice skating. Well, take your little brother out with you. Huh, Ma? He's not even my real brother. He's adopted. Do as I say, Kyle. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Look at those frail and fragile boys. It really gets me down. The world is such a rotten place, and city life's a complete disgrace. That's why I moved to this redneck machine in a quiet mountain town. Mike, big baby. Hey, Programs brought to you by Snacky Spores, the creamy fun of s'mores and a delightful cookie crunch. Yeah, and somebody's at the door. Coming, hun. I can't see the TV. It's been six weeks since Saddam Hussein was killed by a pack of wild boars, and the world is still glad to be rid of him. Oh, look, Eric, it's your little friends. Fireman! What are you guys doing here? Oh, we good? Yes! Yes! Off to the movies we shall go, where we learn everything that we know. Cause the movies teach us what our parents don't have time to say. And this movie's gonna make our lives complete, cause Terrence and Philip are sweet. Super sweet! No. Terrence and Philip Ashes of Fire has been rated R by the Motion Picture Association of America. You have to be accompanied by a parent or guardian. But why? Because this movie has naughty language. Next, please. This can't be happening. We have to see this movie, dude. Ah, oh, screw it. It probably isn't all that good anyway. Carmen, what are you talking about? You love Terrence and Philip. Yeah, but the animation's all crappy. Wait, I've got an idea. Uh, hi. I want six tickets to Asses of Fire. This movie might not be appropriate for your little ones. Hey, he says this movie isn't appropriate for you. Well, look, Mr. Homeless Guy, if you don't want to buy us tickets and not get your ten bucks and not go buy yourself a bottle of vodka, then be my guest. Six tickets, please. Let me have some candy, Cartman. Oh, let's see. Uh, nope, I don't have any Jewish candy. Mike, you really need all that chocolate, fat boy. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Shh, the movie's starting. What did the Spanish priest say to the Iranian gynecologist? I don't know, Philip, what? <laughs> Where do they come up with this stuff? You're such a pig fucker, Philip! <gasps> what did he say? Terence, why would you call me a pig fucker? Well, let's see. First of all, you fuck pigs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, fuck my ass and call me a bitch. <laughs> oh, you shit-faced cockmaster. Wow, shit-faced cockmaster.
Okay. Listen, you donkey raping shit eater. Donkey raping shit eater. Don't be baby shit eater. You'd fuck your uncle. You'd fuck your uncle. Shut your fucking face, uncle fucker. You're a cock sucking ass licking uncle fucker. You're an uncle fucker. Yes, it's true. Nobody fucks uncles quite like you. Shut your fucking face, uncle fucker. You're the one that fucked your uncle, uncle fucker. You don't eat or sleep or mow the lawn. You just fuck your uncle all day long. Now more than ever, she gives me butterflies. It makes my stomach queasy every.